Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the desktop version, the tablet version and also the smartphone version. Now the last thing we need to do is add the navigation menu for our mobile version. So in this video, we'll create a navigation menu for our mobile version. So when we click on this menu button, we want to have a navigation menu displayed over here and it should have a close button. And when we click on the close button, the navigation menu should close. So let's get started. All right, now the first thing we will do is we'll create a frame. So let's click on frame and let's click over here and we'll select this frame and uh, let's select iPhone Pro Max. And this is gonna be our uh, navigation menu. Now the first thing we will do is we will add a background color. So let's select this color and let's select the dark color that we have for our website. And I think we will select the other dark color that we have in our website. So if you scroll up, here we have this color. So let's select this. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will add the menu items over here. So let's click on text and let's click over here. And we need to add about services and our work. So let's type about over here. And let's set the font size to 16 pixels. Or let's set it to 18 pixels. I think we can increase it a little bit more. So I'll just set it to 24 pixels. All right, that looks all right. So let's bring it to the center and now let's duplicate this and let's bring it down and here we will type services and let's bring it to the center and we will have a gap of 40 pixels in between. So right now we have a gap of 41. Let's bring it down. Right now let's duplicate this and bring it down over here. And the next menu item we need to have is our work. And let's send it to the center and now we also need to have a button so for that let's go over here to assets and let's drag this component over here and we'll change the platform to mobile and we will change it to a light button so let's uncheck dark and uh, we will change the text of the button to enroll now and let's bring it to the center let's select this and let's click on align horizontal centers so this is going to be our navigation menu. So let's select all of this and let's group it. So I just press control G and uh, let's name this menu items. And for this frame, I'll just name it navigation menu. Now the next thing we need to do is add a close icon. So let's right click over here and go to plugins and let's select hero icons. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have this icon for close. So let's drag this over here. And let's change the color of the icon to white. And let's increase the size a little bit. So if you go over here to this icon, let's see what is the size. We have a size of 39 pixels. I think we can increase it to 40 pixels to be a bit more consistent. All right, now let's select this and uh, let's change the size to 40 pixels. And let's select this tool called scale. And let's increase the size and we'll set it to 40 pixels. And let's bring it over here to the top right. We will have a spacing of 60 pixels from the top and uh, 32 pixels from the right. All right, this is our navigation menu. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to set a prototype where when we click on this button, we want to have this navigation menu displayed over here. And when we click on this close button, it should go back and we should have this home screen. So let's go over here to prototype and let's select this button. Now let's go back and select the move tool and here we can see we have this plus icon displayed over here so we have to drag this to wherever we want so i'll just drag it over here to this frame and here we have some options for interaction so we will set it to on click and uh, here we have an option called navigate to this uh, frame navigation menu and then we have the animation and all of those over here so i'll just set this to open overlay because we're going to open this navigation menu as an overlay. And here we have some options as to where this navigation menu should be displayed. We'll just set it to centered. And we have some other options over here. We'll just leave it as it is. And here we have animation and let's select this and let's select move in. And now here we have different options like move in from the left or move in from the right and all of those options over here. So I'll just select this one right here. 
and uh, let's set it to ease out and now the next thing we need to do is we need to add an interaction for this close button as well so let's select this and this close button should be inside this navigation menu so I'll just drag this over here right now let's select this close button and we will drag a connection from here to this frame over here so I'll just click and drag and uh, drop it into this frame and here we'll just choose close overlay and now let's go ahead and test it out so let's select this and uh, let's click on this button called present and here we have the home screen and let's click on this button and we can see that the navigation menu is displayed over here and if I click on this close button it is hidden so the navigation menu is working all right now if you want to test this design in your smartphone you can go ahead and download an application called Figma mirror and just go ahead and log in with your Figma credentials and once you log in you can just click on any of these frames so here I have installed Figma mirror on my phone and uh, let's select this frame over here and we can see that our design is displayed over here in the phone now you can go ahead and scroll down and we can see everything is working all right now let's uh, test this menu button so let's click on this menu button and we can see that the navigation menu is displayed over here and let's click on this uh, close button and we can see it is hidden so everything is working all right and I think the font over here is not correct the font over here is uh, Poppins so we have to change all of this font to Poppins so let's change this to Poppins all right now let's uh, center this all right so that's basically it with this video and with that we have completed this series where we have designed all of this uh, design from scratch and I will leave the link of this Figma file and also the complete playlist in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and check that out. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.